and today hundreds of people gathered here in Corpus Christi to celebrate the life of Dr. Hector P. Garcia. Dr. Garcia achieved many things in his lifetime, including creating the American GI Forum. He even received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Ronald Reagan. Our Madeline Salinas spoke with an A&M Corpus Christi library archivist who is helping to preserve the thousands of documents that tell the story of Dr. Garcia's life. This is just a small section of the materials that we have from the Hector P. Garcia papers. And so as you can see, it just spans an entire wall of materials. The nation's largest Mexican-American civil rights collection sits on the second floor of the Mary and Jeff Bell Library here at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. All the material that he's done, his life is sort of captured or encapsulated within these boxes. Dr. Hector P. Garcia had the chance to put these archives at Yale, the University of Texas, and even the Library of Congress. Instead, he chose to keep them in Corpus Christi to keep them home. His son-in-law, Jim Akers, says the history inside these walls spans decades. I don't think that there was any other single person that could ever say that they accomplished as much as he did. He had a lot of help, but he was a very intelligent man. Garcia's legacy lives on, not just through his archives, but through the Dr. Hector P. Garcia Memorial Foundation. In 2017, first-generation college student Mariela Jimenez received a $20,000 scholarship, a gift from the foundation that she says changed her life. Just receiving that, that scholarship really made me feel special and that like everything I had gone through um, and all the work I had put in throughout my time in high school was paying off. After graduating from A&M Corpus Christi, Jimenez became an educator. She now teaches geometry at Mary Carroll High School. I hope that now that I have students that I'm teaching, I, I lead by example and um, let them know that even if they don't have the financial ability um, to pay for, for college, um, that there's other resources and opportunities for them. Madeline Salinas, 3 News.